So, right, I had to have one. Uh, I haven't had, a, I forgot I had the coconut and lime actually. I finished all the rhubarb and rhubarb and, what was it? Rhubarb and strawberry? Strawberry and rhubarb. I think it was rhubarb and something anyway. And that was nice. That's all gone now. But I did have it during the summer. Okay, so it's not like I drink a lot. We're going to have a go <clears throat> at this ballerina here, okay? Now, um, I should have had all five of them. Uh, there's one. We have the ballerina, okay? So we're going to open that up. Right, here we have <clears throat> a silhouette of a ballerina. Right, so I'm just going to check the hoop size. I'm going to go and put it, I want to put it in a uh, 200 by 200 magnetic hoop, all right? So I'm, I've brought my, I've basically I've clicked on this little button here. Uh, I'm going to use a multi-needle machine, so I'm click on that. Then I'm going to go into my hoop size and I want to use a 200 by 200. 200 by 200 okay right so we've got our silhouette there all right now uh that's going to go on to a t-shirt now i'm just wondering if that's going to be too big um no we're going to go with that right so there we have that i'm going to save it to my usb uh so i'm going to pop my usb in Okay, put my USB in there, and then I'm going to go up to send and sew. Uh, and copy and replace. Uh, so like, yeah, we'll press copy and replace. I must have done it already. Okay, so there we have that. All right, now I am going to now stitch that one out on my machine. Okay, so now I want to find my design. There she is. All right, now I'm going to press set. And everything should be fine on there. I don't need to change anything. So we're going to go for edit end, apart from the thread color. All right, now I would like, obviously that's going to be in black because uh, it's a silhouette. And number, I think I'm going to do a... What colour? I'm going to do the pink, alright? So I'm going to go over there and I'm going to pink, pink. I'm going to pick number four, alright? So I'm going to pop in number four in here. Um, now I'm just thinking that that's for her shoes. Um, actually, we'll change those to number... We'll have number one, two, three for that. Three for that. And then for her skirt, we'll go for that one there. Um, and then... That's her tiara, we'll keep it with that. And then the beads and that in her hair. I think we'll also go for like a nice pink. I think that looks, what do you reckon? Or should we go for white? Uh, I quite like the white as well, actually. Well, you can pick and choose. So I think what we'll do is we'll go with that. Right, I've got some of this here, uh, which is um, two. But it's a short tool because we're going to need some of this to use for the skirt all right so i'm going to pop that there so get my 200 by 200 hoop or should i say my eight by nine hoop is actually what it is we have that all right so now i'm going to go and get some cutaway stabilizer i'm going to cut that back a little bit because it's got to go inside a t-shirt um cut that down that right okay okay right, I'll get a t-shirt now all right have my t-shirt here right I'm gonna get my hoop hooper and pop that in there okay and then we're gonna pop the thing inside the shirt Okay. 
you don't want it too high up. You want it either on the collar, so the design comes down here, or just, just below the collar. Um, and then I just normally eye it in. It's quite easy, a lot easier with these magnetic hoops, but... Okay, so that's in. <coughs> then we're going to just pull the shirt a little bit, just to tighten it. Not the stabiliser. Don't want to pull that. Put it around. Okay, and there. Right, and then we're going to take the hooping, the stabiliser hooping thingamajiggy out. And now your stabiliser's all in. Alright, so there we have, have it. All ready to go on the machine. Okay, so let's go. Right, let's pop this on the machine. What you want to do is make sure, if you've got one of these machines, you make sure the back of the uh, shirt is underneath the arm and the top is over the top and then slide it on. Obviously make sure everything's clear underneath. Go back to our design. And I think we're ready to just stitch. Ready to go? Yeah, let's go, shall we? Move this out of the way a minute. Get that sorted in a minute. Now, I'm going to take this off of here and we're going to make a skirt to go on it. Put that down there a minute.
Right, you can take away as much as you feel necessary. I like to get in as close as I can. We're going to put some tender touch on this anyway, so. There, okay, so that's fine. Now then, let's. Uh, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the tender touch on now beforehand because I would like to obviously press it and I don't want to press it once I put the skirt on. So, I'm going to get myself some um, tender touch to go on the back of that. This helps prevent itching from, you know, when the child wears it. We all know what it's like when labels and everything itch us, don't we? So this will stop, hopefully, it being so itchy. Okay. All right. I'm going to pop that on my heat press now. I don't know how much you can see. Can you see much over here? Probably not. Right, there we go. Next, yeah, we're going to put a little, uh, a little tutu on this one. that to do its little bit of business. Let's chuck the line away, try and tidy as we go. Keep that bit. There we go. Hold on. Yeah. Rub your fingers on the ends, edges, just to check that it's done. So that is now done with tender touch, and now we're ready to do the rest. Okay, so what we're going to do is, you're going to need a thread and cotton, all right, preferably a darker cotton or a bright cotton, so you can see. Uh, and we're going to do some just some gathering stitches, all right now. I've cut a piece here, this is off a tool which is actually, I think it's about, yeah, let me have a look, it's a six, it's a six inch wide tool, okay, um, and I've decided to do it six inches wide and you cut a piece about, I think it's 12, six by 12, all right, and I'm going to fold it to make it thicker, hopefully this is all going to work. Uh, so I'm going to fold it over to make it thicker, fold it in half, I'm going to finger press it, if you can see that, okay, that'll help keep it in place. And now we're going to get our needle and thread and we're going to just put two rows of gathering stitches in loosely, okay. Um, because we want to be able to pull this in. Can you see that? This is going to come out in the end, okay? We're just using this to um, do the gather. It's 
quite fiddly stuff this tool. So we've got one row in. Alright, we want to keep it a bit up this end because we don't we we're gonna pull it in a minute. And I've already let one by the looks of it. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna cut that off a minute. I might get away with doing just one, but it says to do two, but I think we'll do two because we don't want to make a mess of it. Get some more cotton. And then you're going to do another row, uh, a little way underneath, okay? So we've got a gap in the middle. So we've got a bit of a gap. So, yeah, like I said, you could change the design, uh, change the colour and have matching skirts, like, for instance, have a green body there and green tool. Blue, purple. Now we're going to pull this and gather it up, both ends, okay? another pin and just pull that tight again and roll that underneath and tuck that underneath in maybe it would have been better to do smaller um, you know smaller stitches then you would get a much more, uh, what's the word? Many more pleats, if you know what I mean. Um, would I want to do that or not? Should I just leave it like that? What do you reckon? I don't know. Yeah, what to do now? Pull it tight. I will leave it like that, okay. So I'm going to roll that underneath and then I'm going to try and pin that as well. There. Okay. Then what I want to do is I'd like to get my sewing machine and stitch around there. All right, so... Okay, so we're going to look at the machine now. Now we want to, uh, I'm going to take that off there a minute. I'm going to pop this under here. Okay. And then I'm going to attempt to, to sew from a little way down, we don't want it. Let's have a look. Uh, hang on, we don't want to want to move that out of the way. Let's put that there. Okay. Let's hope this works, shall we? Right, then we're going to get our cotton and we're going to pull that out. All right, the stuff that we did. Now then, mine is not perfect. I'm going to cut around some of the edges here just to snip off the end bits. Okay, and then open that up a little bit. Gonna snip along there just to tidy up there, make it a little bit more fuller. 
And there we have it. Yeah. So I'm going to pop that now under the heat press, just very, very gently, just to keep that in some sort of place. Yeah. And there we go. Yeah. Oh, I think that looks pretty good. It's quite pretty. Yeah. And you can put um, little beads on, sequins. There we go. Isn't that nice? Yeah, I think that worked out pretty well. It's quite nice. You can have the skirt long, shorter. You could have it with a single layer, add little uh, glittery sequins to it. Um, I'm going to put a bit of ribbon on there now. So I'm going to pop you back in here. Okay. Right, now then, where's my ribbon box? Um, as per usual, I cannot find nothing. Right, here we are. Let's put these pins somewhere before they get lost. <clears throat> oh, that's handy. Should I have that one or we've got some pink there? Let's have a look. Ideally, what I should have done was do the dress the same as the shoe because I think that would have looked much better with and in keeping with it would have looked a lot better. But never mind, it's done now. Okay, so let's cut a piece of ribbon. Um, should we have that colour or shall we have the pink? I think we'll have the pink actually. Yeah, right. Okay, so we want to tie a bow. Uh, and then uh, I don't know if that's too thick. I don't like the thickness of that. It's a bit too thick for my liking. I know I wouldn't mind, and that is maybe just putting a little waistband in there. Um, you could have that just falling down like that, wouldn't you? What do you reckon? Um, I don't know. Right, I've got some of this pink cotton here. It's off pink. Um, and I'm going to tie myself a bow. Okay. I've made a little bow and now I'm just going to secure it to the t shirt just above the skirt. Just cut that bit of excess thread off there. It's quite fiddly, but it's worth it in the end. It's quite pretty. And one more time, we'll go through. There. Okay, and then I'm gonna just tie that off there. It's a lot harder to do when you've got all this backing and embroidery at the back here. But get there. There, and then just snip that off. And then I'm going to cut these. I don't want them this long. I'm going to cut them at an angle like that. And 
like that. And I'm going to just quickly get a lighter, uh, which I haven't got up here at the minute. And you just sear the ends with a lighter, just very quickly, because you don't want to catch this. Lift it up and just give it a little sear. That looks really nice. I'm really pleased with that. There. There we go. Definitely would have been better if I'd have done the shoes the same with that, or that that is the same as the shoes. And then the other ones, which are slightly different poses, uh, you could do like like I say the lilac and then the all lilac and then another one with blue and I think that would look really nice. But yeah, I'm really very pleased with that. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. That would be great. Um, and I will be back in future with more videos like this. There will be sublimation. There will be HTV vinyl and obviously embroidery. And the possibilities are endless. So uh, please feel free to uh, check out the links below. There are several down there. And the link for the ballerina design should be down there. Well, the shop link will be down there because I'm not sure when the design will be put on the shop if that makes sense uh and um i will see you again soon with more creative things to do so i'm going to say bye have a good evening good night good day good morning good whatever wherever you are bye 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 bye